It's been over six months since quarterback Caden Slovis transferred to BYU for his final season of college football. And though there have been some awkwardness to that at first, Fox 13's Morgan Vance explains that's all water under the bridge. September 14, 2019, a young quarterback out of Scottsdale, Arizona, got his first taste of BYU. Welcome to one of the most beautiful settings in college football. The Cougars looking to knock off another Power 5 foe. USC freshman Keaton Slovis making his second career start. Slovis with time and wide open in the end zone is Pittman. This, however, is what it looked like at the end of the game with the Cougars upsetting the nationally ranked Trojans in overtime. All the while, Slovis this managed to make a few judgments while here. Provo is a weird place. Like, <laughs> we kind of <laughs> joke. We're cutting that one out. I heard man. it's like a Twilight Zone. You ever seen the Truman okay. Show? Cutting it up on the Momentum Truck podcast, there was plenty more. People are like smiling, like, thank you for coming to play. We're glad you're here. They're all Mormon, right? Slovis threw 28 touchdown balls that year, but was eventually forced out of SC, only to play last season on the opposite coastline at Pitt. When I look at why I committed there and and what I wanted out of my last year it just wasn't wasn't what I wanted anymore. So last December, back in the portal he goes, where guess who needed a face and an arm to ease them into the Big 12? Now when I look at it, I was like, this is exactly the offense I want to play in with the players around me, um, the guys up front in the conference, great schedule. And yet, if you could only delete the internet. And they're like not cussing, they're like, Slovis, you stink. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like BYU fans either failed to take it personally or forgave you. Safe to say? Yeah, no, it's been mostly positive, to be honest. I, I think most people took it as a compliment. Demeanor of how nice people are here and how they treat you. I was running at halftime not playing well. BYU people are telling me, hey, it's all right, you'll be better next half. So um, I feel like I've just been given kind of that treatment as a player now. Only 11 guys who played opposite Slovis four years ago remain on the roster with only two, Max Tooley and CJ Ayu getting significant minutes that day. Fast forward to now, it's a fresh start for everyone. I just wasn't sure I was going to fit in uh, different culture a little bit, but it's been seamless, made a ton of friends. I wish I could tell myself then, like, hey, man, don't worry about it. It's going to be great and probably one of the better experiences you've had in college football. Morgan Vance, Fox 13 Sports. Provo is a different place. It but in is. A good way. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and he was describing nice things, yeah, really. I wasn't I mean, saying anything bad. It is, you know, if you're coming to Provo from LA, it's, it's different. It's a little different. Yeah. Definitely. I like BYU at 11. It kind of motivates them, you yeah. know? Puts a little bit of. Yeah, you don't right. want to have everything on your back right away. Yeah, right. Right. Get out there and prove everybody wrong.